Okay, so this is just the introduction, the image we were looking at. So now you're in a side view on the LC side, okay? So you see the cingulum bundle and the corpus callosum that looks healthy on the non-tumor side. The greenish fiber looks fine. It's a big U connecting temporal lobe and frontal lobe. So that looks fine. But now if we go on the tumor side, and that's part of the image you see uh, from before. So you see the cortical spinal tract coming from the spinal cord. Now we're moving the box around the tumor. So you see how the tracks deviate around the tumor and also infiltrate here. We see really at the medial part of the tumor, a lot of tracks coming through it. And these are motor tracks. So there's, there we can assume that there's still some motor function uh, in, in this subject or this patient. And so this is why the, the surgeon does electrical stimulation to see if the function is preserved. So now here's just a zoom of the tumor. The little pinkish area here was the functional area. This is the foot area. This was done by functional imaging prior to surgery, the fMRI. And so again, you see the cortical spinal tract, this blue fiber tract connecting the spinal cord to this foot area, also indicating that this function is still preserved in this patient. So the surgeon really has to make sure not to remove this part of the tumor. This is the hand area. So in yellow, you see all the little blobs of the hand area, which were scattered around. So again, indicating that there's a lot of motor function still active in this patient. And so the surgeon in this case was more conservative than aggressive.